you did you talk to the therapist, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is just the doctor portion. I know they sent you down here, so I just have to do a few tests. It's really mainly sight and hearing stuff around the neck and stuff in the head because that's when they're they're thinking the uh, the implant is that uh, alien implant plan is so yeah I'm just here to kind of just check around there and whatnot you know yeah it, it, it won't it, it's actually going to take one of all the guys it's going to probably be 10 minutes maybe a little longer if you're lucky just basic stuff let me just uh, quickly start with the eye portion I'm just going to kind of I just want you to follow this marker around yeah, just look straight ahead, both eyes open. Yeah, I'm just gonna move it around, just follow it. Don't move your head, but just follow it with your eyes. That's fine. Uh, close your right eye. Same thing, follow with your eyes. Tell me when it comes on, you see it. There. There. How has your vision been normally? It's pretty decent. You haven't felt any, like, you said, I think I read that it was like blurred vision, right, sometimes? How often is that? Not that often. All right. Yeah, now close the other eye. That's fine. Like I said, this is basic stuff. I'm just kind of going through it quickly, as you were, you know, as it were. Just, you know, yeah, I know you said you got migraines. Now, this is going to be an interesting test. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to find out what this implant's done. This is going to be weird. It's going to seem weird at first, but you'll know. Okay, but I want you to close both eyes now and tell me when you see this pen come into your line of view. I know it sounds weird. All right, well, <laughs> at this point, right, everything here, right, everything's on the table. All right, close your eyes. There you go. I'm not saying it. Let me get a little closer. You see it there, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm trying to say, like, I'm closing my eyes now. You have, like, a... You're almost like getting an outline of it. It's kind of weird. It's almost, I, I can't even really describe how it works with this implant, but it almost like, it's almost more of like a feel and you know it's kind of coming and you can kind of see, because sometimes you have your eyes closed, you can kind of see like, you can still kind of, there's like little shapes and stuff, but I think it's just amplified with this uh, thing. So I just wanted to, yeah, kind of check that. Sure, yeah, close them again. Yeah, let's see, same thing. You know, yeah, I want to do that. I'm gonna do the finger test. Not that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Close your eyes. How many fingers am I holding up on both hands? Total. Yep. Four. How about now? Yep. Eight. Yeah. I mean, you might be getting a feel for it. You might just kind of get a flash. I don't really know how this thing works completely. Like I said, I'm just doing the test. Here. The, the technicians and the engineers are the ones that are really hardcore scientists, the ones that are really know or trying to figure out some of this stuff because it's uh, otherworldly, obviously. It's, it's way past what the hell we're doing. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also want to really quickly, uh, I'm just going to whisper four words in each ear of yours, and I just want you to, you know, not now, but I want you to kind of remember those words and just tell them back to me. Yeah. All right, close your eyes though, before I know it's weird to leave your eyes closed. But... All right, you ready? Camera. Baseball. Vertigo. That's the one side. Dilute. Phenomenon. Air. Balloon. Phenomenon. I forgot the one word myself. Yikes. What was the first word? Oh, God. <laughs> I know what it was. Dilute.
you picked up on that, right? Yeah. See, I, I do that. I could, I'm trying to not confuse you, but I'm trying to throw you off. So I start laughing. Oh, I forgot the word or whatever. And then you're kind of getting like jumbled words. Like, oh, did I hear the right word? I just want you to remember those words. Do you remember them right now? Excellent. All right. Just at the end, in a few minutes, just repeat them back to me. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's the hearing portion. And, and real quickly, I just need to feel around the back of your head and like your glands and stuff. Just basic stuff here, you know. Like I said, it's quick. I, they just want this. They kind of want me to have it for more of it. Because they gave me the location of, of the implant. Yeah. Right, ready? Yeah, just it's kind of like Actually, lift up your shoulders a little bit. I just want to push down on them. I just want to see like if there's any kind of like, I mean, I should say you push up on them. All right. Sometimes if people have an implant in their neck, it affects kind of like the, the, the side, the, the arm and the shoulder on. Sometimes it will affect movement and stuff. Have you had any problems with like where you think it is or any kind of specific pain in like a shoulder or arm? No. All right. Yeah, that doesn't happen too often. I think that's almost more of an older school implant thing. <laughs> yeah, we're talking like 20 years, 30 years back before my time in terms of doing this stuff. <laughs> All right, let me just feel around your neck, under the chin and stuff. Yeah, feel it. All right. Go around the bragula head there. Lower on the neck. right here actually it's very subtle they had the right spot though where they told me you feel anything when I touch there no no pain at all hmm. all right yeah so that's that's the spot where it is I believe yeah all right well you know let me just continue feeling around the back of your head and stuff Side of the neck. They go into your shoulders. Hmm. You got some pain there when I'm touching the behind that shoulder. Oh, that's interesting. I don't feel anything there. You're going, who are you seeing next? I'm going to mention that. I'm a, it's probably not like it's being a little twinge, but we're like I said, any weird stuff here, we are immediately we're going to test it. It's quick. I want to see if there's a connection between the one here and if there's anything maybe here. They put another one in, like a kind of a, they signal back to each other. It's, it's interesting. I don't, like I said, I don't want to explain it. They'll explain it better than I can. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's all I need to do. Yeah, oh, anyway, the words. Uh, what were the words? Air balloon, dilute, phenomenon. Yeah, perfect. The other ones? Yeah, vertigo, baseball, camera. Yeah. Perfect, you got them all. And easily, dude, you, even with me trying to get you, it was just in your brain, it was in there, like all you could hear was those words. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know how your memory stuff was beforehand. It was all right. This thing like amplifies it, like they'll do more memory tests when you go see the other people. It's kind of basic one, but like, yeah, sometimes your memory will be really, like really good. Like you can focus, like I just tell those words and you like focus on these words. This chip almost knows and it sends a signal and like you're just focusing on those words. Yeah, like I said, it's a lot of crazy stuff. Don't, you know, you should, I know it's going to sound stupid and you might not, don't take offense to it, but you should almost feel kind of blessed in a way by this because, I don't know, I don't think, I know people have their opinion on what these, these other life forms want with us, but I think, I don't think they mean us too much harm, to be honest with you, maybe, but I don't know. Yeah. Alright, anyway, thanks for that, and, uh, yeah, just, there on the third floor, uh, just go down the stitch there, it's at the end of the hall, you go right down, it's right there, it's the first door, you'll see, it should say, yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks for coming in. Yeah, alright.